Hello, my name is Claire Good. I'm a member of the Learning and Teaching Development Team at Otago Polytechnic in New Zealand. I've been leading the project piloting the rollout of the Ontario Extend Suite here, and this short presentation will give you an overview of how we've done this. So in December 2019, at the inaugural Symposium for New Zealand's National Centre for Open Education Practice, um, keynote speaker Dr David Porter, formerly CEO of eCampus Ontario, talked about the Ontario Extend programme for professional learning. We saw a real opportunity both for Targo Polytechnic and the um, other polytechnics in New Zealand and for the OERU and its partner network. I presented a proposal to our executive leadership team in January and working with um, Dr. Wayne McIntosh, Managing Director of the OER Foundation and leader in the promotion of OER and open education globally, we went on to meet with the Ontario Extend team via a video call in March. So content has been developed in Wiki Educator and then published via WordPress to make sure that it's openly available to others for adaptation and can be scaled easily across multiple organisations. The OERU Moodle site is being used as the launch pad for learners with links to the OERU course site on WordPress. And Moodle also allows me to track learner activity and communicate with learners and enables learners to submit their evidence for assessment. Moodle is being used to manage and award digital badges with learners encouraged to share them via Badger. While adapting the content for this New Zealand iteration, I've altered some of the language with the aim of improving the feeling of um, inclusivity. The modules had originally been written from a U perspective. So for example, uh, you have probably experienced which I've changed to a we perspective, so we have probably all experienced. In the New Zealand cultural context, this gives a sense of us walking alongside one another rather than the modules being a top-down initiative. Um, other amendments have been made where, for example, I've revised the vast majority of references to teaching and learning to become learning and teaching, with some exceptions exceptions where I feel the focus is on the teaching. I've also updated any specific geographical and or cultural references to suit the Aotearoa New Zealand context. Our aim was to run the pilot project with two of the six modules available, um, Teacher for Learning and Experimenter. Between July and September, three more of the modules have been developed and made available to staff, with only the curator module yet to go live. We advertised via a blog post on our staff website and via digital screens uh, across campus. By the launch date of 3rd of July, uh, 23 staff had expressed an interest in being involved in the pilot project, with three further staff members joining since then. Of those, around seven learners have engaged with the materials in some way. The first submission of evidence for a Teacher for Learning digital badge was received on the 27th of July, with the same staff member going on to earn his experimenter, technologist and collaborator badges. Other staff members have also earned their teacher badges, one scholar badge and one experimenter badge. Feedback has been incredibly positive from our first group of Extend NZ learners, as you can see here. The plan now is for the modules to be rolled out across other polytechnics in New Zealand, as well as across the OERU network and partner institutions. A huge thank you from me to the Ontario Extend team, past and present, whose work we have been building on. We're looking forward to seeing where this goes and being able to contribute to future iterations.